Hello everyone. We hope that you are doing well. And now to some breaking news out of Texas. A U.S. district judge there has ruled again that the program is unlawful. That's a program that protects hundreds of thousands of his dreamers from deportation and allows them to work legally in the United States. Hello, everyone. We hope that you are doing well. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome to YouTube official verified U.S. immigration updates channel, and welcome back if you are returning. We have got some significant news to discuss that could have far-reaching implications on immigration policies and the border. In this video, we're going to talk about a U.S. judge ruled against a program offering relief and work permits to immigrants, known as DREAMers, despite an attempt by President Joe Biden's administration to bolster the program's standing with a new regulation. The judge's decision was not liked by the Biden government. We will look everything in detail. So once again, good morning, afternoon, or evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, and welcome again. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, stay tuned until the end of this video. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button, the like this video button. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get new updates instantly and directly to your YouTube. So, without any further delay, now let's get into the video and find out what the latest updates are on U.S. immigration. Welcome once again. This is a big setback for Biden's plan to change the way immigration works. The ruling by U.S. District Court Judge Andrew Hannon in Texas is another setback for the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. And now to some breaking news out of Texas. A U.S. district judge there has ruled again that the DACA program is unlawful. That's a program that protects hundreds of thousands of undocumented people known as dreamers from deportation and allows them to work legally in the United States. The judge declared DACA unlawful back in 2021 as well. So the Biden administration submitted legal regulation to answer his concerns. But today, he ruled that the regulation was not enough. Now, the ruling did not give an end date to the program yet. Current DREAMers will be able to keep and renew their status, but no new applications will be accepted. The Biden administration is expected to appeal that decision, and it could end up in the Supreme Court. We're going to bring you the latest on that when it happens. DACA program and the 579,000 people who signed up for it and other immigrants who might have hoped to be approved. Hannon. A judge who was nominated by Republicans found that a rule that Biden's administration put out last year didn't fix the legal problems that led him to find DACA illegal in 2021 and stop any expansion of the program, which has been in place for more than a decade. Even though President Joe Biden's office tried to make the program stronger with a new rule, the judge ruled against the program that gave dreamers, illegal immigrants brought to the country as children, protection from deportation and work permits. He said that until Hannon's decision in 2021, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security can keep renewing the status of people who are in DACA. Many people who get DACA know English and live, work, and have families in the United States. Hannon wrote that the order did not require U.S. immigration officials to take any immigration, deportation, or criminal action against any DACA recipient, applicant, or any other person that they would not take otherwise. The decision, which came after Texas and other states filed a lawsuit, is likely to be fought in court. We disagree with the district court's conclusion that DACA is illegal and will continue to defend this important policy against legal challenges, White House spokeswoman Karine Jean-Pierre said in a written statement released Wednesday night. While we do this, DHS will continue to process renewals for current DACA recipients, as ordered by the court, and DHS may continue to accept DACA applications. The ruling keeps the stay in place, said Alejandro Mayorkas, secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, in a separate statement. This means that people who have DACA will not lose their protection from deportation. But this ruling makes it harder for more than half a million dreamers who have helped our communities to be safe and stable. When asked for a statement, the office of Texas's Republican governor, Greg Abbott, did not answer right away. Thomas Scenes, president of the Mexican-American Legal Defense and Educational Fund, MALDEF, said that Hannon's decision was more of the same flawed analysis.
Maldef represents DACA recipients who are in court with the Biden administration. Texas and eight other states with Republican attorneys general said that the program breaks federal regulations and forces them to pay for education, health care, and law enforcement. In October 2022, the conservative-leaning Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals upheld Hannon's rule against DACA but sent the case back to Hannon to be looked at again in light of Biden's regulation making the program official. Former President Donald Trump's attempt to end DACA was turned down by the U.S. Supreme Court because it did not follow the rules. Trump is running for re-election as a Republican in 2024. According to statistics from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, about 81% of DACA applicants are from Mexico. After that come people from El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. About 164,000 people live in California, which backs legal attempts to protect the DACA program, while 95,000 people live in Texas. The judge's decision was not liked by the Biden government. In a statement released Wednesday night, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said, we are deeply disappointed by today's DACA ruling from the district court in southern Texas. As we have said for a long time, we disagree with the district court's decision that DACA is illegal, and we will keep defending this important program in court. While we do this, DHS will continue to process renewals for people who already have DACA, as ordered by the court, and DHS may continue to accept new DACA applications. The Texas Attorney General's Office, which was representing the states in the lawsuit, and the U.S. Department of Justice, which was representing the federal government, did not quickly respond to emails or phone calls asking for comment. The states have said that the Obama administration didn't have the right to make the program in the first place in 2012 because it went around Congress. Hannon said the program was illegal in 2021 because it had not been given the public notice and comment times that the Federal Administrative Procedures Act requires. The Biden administration tried to address Hannon's worries with a new version of DACA that went into effect in October 2022 and was open to public comments as part of a formal rulemaking process. But Hannon, who was named by President George W. Bush in 2002, said that the updated version of DACA was still illegal because it was basically the same as the old version, which was started by the Obama administration. Hannon had said before that DACA was against the Constitution. Hannon had also decided in the past that the states had the right to sue because the program had hurt them. The states have said that letting illegal aliens stay in the country costs them hundreds of millions of dollars in health care, education, and other costs. Texas. Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Nebraska, South Carolina, West Virginia, Kansas, and Mississippi are the states that filed suit. The people who defended the program, the federal government, the Mexican-American Legal Defense and Educational Fund, and the state of New Jersey, said that the states didn't show proof that any of the costs they said they had were caused by DACA participants. They also said that Congress gave the Department of Homeland Security the legal power to decide how to implement immigration laws. At the end of March, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services said that 578,680 people had signed up for DACA. Over the years, the program has been in and out of court many times. In 2016, the Supreme Court couldn't decide whether DACA should be made bigger or if there should be a version of the program for parents of people with DACA. In 2020, the Supreme Court said, by a vote of 5-4, that the Trump administration stopped DACA in the wrong way, so it will stay in place. In 2022, the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans confirmed Hannon's earlier decision that DACA was illegal but sent the case back to him to look at changes that the Biden administration had made to the program. President Joe Biden and groups that support immigrants have asked Congress to give lifelong protections to DREAMers. Congress has tried and failed more than once to pass the DREAM Act, a plan to protect DACA participants. In a statement, Veronica Garcia, an attorney with the Immigrant Legal Resource Center, an advocacy group, said, we continue to urge Congress and President Biden to find permanent solutions for all immigrants so that none are left on the dangerous path DACA has been on for the past 10 years. That's all we have for you in this bulletin.
I hope you found this video useful. We will continue to keep a close eye on the developments us immigration related updates and will publish new videos when there are more updates. The US Immigration Update channel provides all necessary visa information and procedures for your US immigration journey. It is important to understand the United States immigration processing steps, visa application requirements, processing times, forms, fees, and more. We will continue to provide all information about U.S. visitor visas such as B-1 and B-2, work visas such as L-1A, L-1B, and H-1B, student visas, green cards, immigrant visas, EB-1, EB-2, EB-3, EB-4, and EB-5, and family immigrant visas. Thank you for visiting us today, and we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, Please subscribe channel for more US immigration update videos.